And here you can see our, um, our value if false is going to be today minus the start date. Okay, so the uh, nested if function shown up here in the formula bar, the logical test takes care of any values that are greater than the uh, total number of days each task is going to be completed um, by giving it a result of total days and um, the nested if function here for the value of false argument takes care of any values that are less than zero in the case of the task that the start date has not arrived yet. Okay, and then uh, so that takes care of our days completed. This should always be automated because of that formula. This will always be up to date as the days change. And then over here for days remaining, I entered in a formula which is simple. The days remaining is going to be the total number of days minus the days complete. And then I just carry those down. And you can see that, you know, for this task, which takes seven days since we're June 7th, six days have been completed, and there's one day left. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create our Gantt chart. I'm going to click the Insert tab and the insert ribbon will appear in the charts group I'm going to select insert bar chart and I'm going to insert a stacked um, stacked bar chart it can be 2d or 3d okay so now you can see that our chart area is blank but it appears so our chart area is there I'm going to right click on the chart area and click on select data Okay, now I'm going to start adding my series. The first series, let's move this over so I can get to this. The first series I'm going to add is the start date. So you can see that the edit series dialog box appears where I start entering in my um, data to get my chart. And for series name, click on start date. And then for series values, I select my start dates and click OK. All right, now over here in the horizontal category axis label, I click edit and I'm going to select my task. Now I'm going to add another series to this chart. So I click add. It's going to be days complete. Just select the column. And then for series values, I'm going to select the days completed and click OK. And I have one more to add, and that's days remaining. Click on days remaining, and for series values, okay. So I have my um, three series for the bars: the start date, days complete, days remaining, and then for my horizontal axis, I have all the individual tasks. I didn't have to create a uh, series for total days because the days remaining and the days complete take care of that. You can see 17, 17 here, 5 plus 1 equals 6 for task 5. That's going to be, rep, um, be represented. The total days will be represented with a combination of days complete and days remaining on the bar chart. So I click OK, close out the select data source dialog box, and you can see I have a chart starting to appear, but it, there are a few problems. Um, first thing is these long blue bars. What that is, is um, you can see the date. This goes way back. Even though our um, project starts on May 16th, the chart automatically gives us some space. It's automated, showing a little bit of a cushion of dates starting at March 27th. Another problem you can see is that our tasks are in reverse order. Okay, so I can uh, one get rid, kind of hide this right here, the blue bars, which are representing March 27th all the way to the start date. We don't need those there because there's nothing going on, so we don't need any kind of chart graph showing there. So what I do is I click. You can see I just clicked on the blue bars and it highlighted them. So I clicked on them and then I right click. I'm gonna click. Um, Format Data Series. Then um, this Format Data Series dialog box will appear. I'm going to select for my series options. I select Fill. 
Then I go down here, select fill again, and I'm going to click on no fill. So there, I took care of that problem. Okay, so you can see there are no bars. You can kind of see this coming together. All right, let's get our task in the correct order. So I, again, I select the task right here inside the chart, right click, and, and then I select format axis. Okay. You can see that the format axis box appears over to the right. On the axis position, axis position, I'm going to click categories in reverse order. Okay. So now that we've solved that problem. Now the one major problem that we have left is this big gap and that's because the dates. Now to understand the dates, you kind of need to understand how Excel works with dates. Excel recognizes dates as numbers. I'll show you what I mean. You can see right here, I click on a date. Now let me change that to general, right? To a different format and you can see that it's actually a number. Number 41,410. There's a serial number system with dates. Okay, so to fix the dates, let me click on the dates up here, the date numbers. Click on format axis. And there's a minimum right here. It's at auto. And minimum, I'm going to remove that number and I'm going to type manually type in the start date or a few days before let's just say 41400 41400 um, so I'm manually entering in a date there by its serial number so anytime you want to know the date serial number just click on the date and go to general all right no just did auto again. Again, let me 41,400 enter and there it's reset the dates. And now let's get our dates back to the date format. Okay. So um, now we have our Gantt chart created showing progress. I can stretch this out. You can um, format your chart, you know, any way you want. Stretch it, resize it according to your preferences or your bosses. And um, now that we have this open, you know, you can obviously change the design and the uh, format of your chart. But there you can see right here that uh, task one has been completed and it's and task two has been completed represented by the color task three task four is partially complete and those are the days remaining these tasks overlap but as the days go by these will start to fill in meaning that the days are completed each task so there's a Gantt chart automatically updated showing progress as time goes by in Microsoft Excel 2013. Um, I don't think there's another Gantt chart tutorial um, that's this advanced on YouTube. Um, and that's what I think makes this one a little bit different, different than the other ones. It is complicated with the uh, formula and you do need to understand it. If you don't understand it, you can at least pause my videos and enter the um, just kind of copy the formula, and eventually it will click. You'll get it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of my other videos for um, tips and tutorials on Microsoft Excel 2010 and 2013. Also, visit my website at Excel for Noobs. Um, these videos are free. The only way that I make money is from advertisements. So. Um, you know, uh, we need to get ranked up in the search engines, and the way that you can do that is just participate in my videos, and um, by doing that, just comment, rate, subscribe, share. That'll help me get views. The more views, um, the more motivation I get to create videos, free videos for you guys to learn from. So anyway, thanks for watching, and 
have a fun time.